vaccination. Thank you. Um, I was I, I listened uh, with much happiness uh, in your opening remarks uh, when you talked about being the lawyer for the people, uh, that you want to serve the law and not factional purposes, and that you use the important adjective humble. I think we could need a little bit more of that in this town, so I appreciate that. Um, and I was also glad that you mentioned when um, President Biden nominated you, um, Attorney General Edward Levy, uh, who taught an iconic first year law uh, class at the University of Chicago that I uh, took. And uh, like Edward Levy, uh, who took office after Watergate, you will take on the Department of Justice at a critical time and will have the great task of restoring its ideals of independence and fidelity to the Constitution and to the law. Uh, what is the number one thing you want to do to boost morale um, in the Department of Justice on day one? Well, on day one, I'm hopefully, if I'm confirmed, I will take an oath in which I say all the things that you just said. <laughs> I want to make clear to the uh, career uh, uh, prosecutors, the career lawyers, the career employees, the career agents of the department, that my job uh, is to protect them from partisan uh, or other improper motives. I, uh, I then hope um, to have an opportunity over the next few months to visit with as many members uh, of the Justice Department as possible uh, in the pandemic. Unfortunately, this will have to be over a Zoom. Um, I, had, uh, I would much prefer to be able to go down uh, to the Great Hall or the cafeteria and uh, mingle with folks and, and, and uh, let them hear what's in my heart about this. But, I'm afraid that technology uh, is the only way I'm going to be able to do it now. Okay, very good. Um, one of the things that troubled me along these lines was the pardon process that was that President Trump undertook. And one study found that 88% of the pardons that he granted had some sort of personal or political connection to the former president. Um, what do you think we need to do to restore integrity to the pardon process? Obviously, it's important power of the president. Um, what do you think you can do from the Attorney General's position. Well, Senator, you're right. This is a power granted uh, by the Constitution to the President. I think the role of the Justice Department through its uh, role, uh, pardon attorney uh, is to provide a careful, uh, individualized examination of uh, the people who are uh, um, uh, asking to be pardoned. The, the uh, office has a, a, sense, a set of very detailed uh, regulations which describe when people are appropriate for pardons and when they are not. It provides an important screen that uh, not only yields uh, who maybe should be pardoned, but also protects the president from improper influence. Okay. 